One thing I was really going to try hard to do this year was watch all the Netflix movies because I pay monthly for it. I might as well watch the stuff that they're giving me technically for free. And, you know, I've been watching a lot of the Marvel shows. I've been watching other TV shows on there. Not necessarily all Netflix stuff, but I try to take advantage of it as much as I can. And they're at the point now where they're releasing a new movie every week. I watched every, uh, not every 2018 movie, but I watched a lot of them. A lot more than before. Granted, they're releasing more than they ever have before. And this year seems like it's going to top all of them. So I was like, why not? It's one movie a week, maybe sometimes two. I'll try to keep up. If I could see most of the stuff that's shown in my local theater, I could probably see most of the stuff that Netflix does, especially since they're getting some pretty big stars at this point, bigger directors. And it's not like these productions are just being bought from other studios or are these small time independent productions anymore. No, they're actually getting some pretty sizable things. So, the first thing that was released on Netflix this year, though, that uh, for 2019, an American movie, because there's some other stuff that's only getting an American release now, but the first movie is a comedy, The Last Laugh, starring Richard Dreyfuss and Chevy Chase. So, this is, um, this is an older person's dream, basically, a baby boomer, uh, earlier Gen X dream of bringing two actors together who were popular back in the day to have them be in a comedy movie and I was excited to see it because I'm I like Chevy Chase and I'd like to see him do some more comedy and I heard it was gonna be on Netflix so hey easy way to watch it at home and like a lot of Netflix movies at times you can feel that the budget is uh, not big it feels really cheap at times. I don't understand the musical score for a lot of Netflix movies. Sometimes they can be really good, but sometimes they go for this really simple, uh, bubbly, kind of 90s kids movie scores, if you know what I mean. Something that would be in like, uh, I don't know, Baby's Day Out or Baby Genius is something, just a weird score like that that's not really good. Just kind of, like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But it's got a score like that. That's the first thing that really popped out to me. It's about Chevy Chase. He used to be an agent for celebrities, but not really the big ones. More of the smaller types. Comedians, mostly. And one of the comedians he was an agent for was Richard Dreyfuss, someone that he thought was long gone only to show up at an old folks home and see that he's actually alive. Hey, what do you know? A retirement home, not an old folks home, but I guess it's the same thing. Anyway, they decide, hey, why don't we just go for another road trip and have you get popular again by doing some more stand-up. So Richard Dreyfuss does some more stand-up, Chevy Chase uh, goes with him, and that's basically the movie. It's just those two going set to set, uh, having some life adventures, conversations, and some conflicts. I gotta say though, the movie, while at first was not doing it for me at all, I mean, I've heard this story before about the old guy who's like, no, I say when I'm done. I mean, Rocky Balboa did it better. I think The Mule did it better. We've seen this movie before. Uh, Up. Up is probably like the best of all of them. <laughs> but this one felt very generic and just, I don't know. It, I've, I've seen something like this before. And this movie didn't really bring anything new to the table. And the performances, you know, they're, they're good. It seems like Chevy Chase is uh, at least having fun in the role, or at least trying. Richard Dreyfuss, I don't think he's phoning it in. Nobody seems to be phoning it in. But what's weird is that the movie does seem to go more on the dramatic side than the comedy side, which may kind of throw people off. The movie doesn't have a lot of really good... Uh, classic humorous moments, especially from these actors where the age that they're coming from, if you've seen a lot of their movies from the late 70s and 80s, they usually were some of the funnier movies ever. And here you don't really get that. You don't get their comedic sensibilities, especially for a movie that's about a comedian. But uh, as the movie went along though, I started to kind of buy the dramatic side to all these actors. Chris Parnell shows up and, you know, he's usually the funniest, weirdest part of any movie. And he plays it pretty straight. And honestly, I'm like, yeah, he, he should be doing some more dramatic stuff. Uh, and Chevy Chase has a monologue halfway through the movie that, I don't know, maybe some people would watch it and think the staging of it's a little weird 
or maybe they think he's not doing that great of a job, but to me, I thought it was actually a really touching, good moment. And it's one of those movies that, you know, despite the fact that that has a low budget, they end up going to the Late Show with Stephen Colbert. And I was like, oh, that's interesting that they're using, they're actually using Stephen Colbert. They're not making up some fake late night gig. And it's actually really important to them because uh, many years earlier, Richard Dreyfuss tried to get on the Ed Sullivan show, but he ended up having to cancel or he couldn't make it the last second. So him ending up on the Stephen Colbert show on the Ed Sullivan theater was a big moment for him. And honestly, that's where they end the movie. And it really kind of got me, you know, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm kind of with this story now. It started kind of winning me by the end. I mean, it joins the lot of a lot of other Netflix movies where it's like, there's just some... There's something weird about watching them. They all have the same kind of saturated look to them. So The Last Laugh, yeah, for a movie called The Last Laugh, you don't really have many laughs, but the dramatic stuff at least works. And by the third act, really starts winning you. I'd give this movie three out of five stars and uh, we'll see what the rest of the Netflix movies are like this year. Do you like Netflix movies or do you think they all suck or what do you think? Recommend some Netflix movies to me and what do you think of The Last Laugh? Leave a comment and thanks for watching.